here at Live in the D, we are all about showing you what's around town, new places to explore, and interesting people in our community. Today, we are going to introduce you to Tommy Walker. He's the creator of the popular clothing line, Detroit vs. Everybody, worn by celebrities such as Eminem and Keith Urban. And he's a lifelong Detroiter. And now, this is his Detroit. My name is Tommy Walker, and this is my Detroit. The Ralph Bunch is the co-op. That's the area that I grew up in. It's the IHOP right on Jefferson, and whenever someone asks me where I grew up, I tell them, you know that IHOP on Jefferson? They say, yeah, I say, the parking lot right behind that IHOP. I remember all the good times that I had on the court and you know, on the swings, and but they're not there anymore. And it just keeps me tethered to the idea that everything isn't forever, you know, things aren't forever. But it's a humbling thought and reminds me that I don't need to take anything for granted. I need to stay working, make sure that what it is that I'm putting my energy into is long lasting. But you know, I just want to take you back to my, to my, my, my origin. And this is still somewhere where I come, put 10 toes down and get planted. Central Kitchen and Bar is, an, is an, another place in Detroit that I like to go to, and I like to bring people who, who aren't from the city to there, you know. I like to support people that are, you know, my close friends, like we all should, you know. Um, but they have this chicken sandwich there that is the best, and I love the ambiance. I like to take a lot of my business meetings there. It's, I just love it. I just love it. Whenever someone says, hey, where you want to meet? I, I say Central Kitchen. That's my spot. If I'm not, like, kicking it at Central Kitchen, then I like to spend a lot of my time at Beyond Juice and Eastern Market. Eastern Market is one of my favorite places in the city of Detroit. It's like, it's very lively, and it's also the home of uh, my second Detroit versus Everybody store. A lot of the Saturdays, I like to go to Beyond Juice and just, you know, watch the traffic go in and out of the store. You know, they have like a, a meeting area in which you could get your smoothie or your, you know, sesame bread and, you know, and just kick it. I got a space in my heart for anybody that's uh, doing business in the heart of Detroit. But wow, this is my thinking space, you know. And when I, before doing this interview, I was like, man, do I want to tell everybody about my thinking space? Too? But I, I, I'm going to say, you guys can come use my thinking space, you know. Uh, I like to just like ride around Bilal and I sit in different spaces. You know, I've had a lot of important meetings out here and a lot of deep conversations I've been out here, you know, from senior skip day back in high school. The baseball diamonds, I have played many a games out there. The giant slide, you got some awesome monuments and statues. It has a, a very, dear part in any Detroiter's life. There's an energy that Detroit carries that is nowhere else. And they don't want to tell us about it, you know, because it's a, like a dominant energy and wherever we go, we take over. But there's something here that really can't be put into words and it can't be duplicated. 